So today I'm finally going to show you the audio and visual information systems because Audio Connect 1.4.0 was released and that means command blocks can now send Audio Connect commands. So in this video I'm just going to show how I made this system and what it looks and sounds like uh, as a preview before I make an uh, actual full length video of the entire Lake Loop line with this system installed. So to start off with, we will make the audio system. This system uses Audio Connect, a plugin which allows you to play audio in the server, which uh, does not require a resource pack at all. All you need is just your browser. So to make our station announcements and train departing melodies, which by the way, I made some and if you are interested, you can find them on onlinesequencer.net which is where I made all the melodies. Link to the to my profile is here but uh, just a note, most of the melodies are just horrible. So just a note before you visit it, uh, the only two I like the one and the ones which I'm currently using are YCM01 and YCM06 The rest are just trash Anyways, to start off I use Wo Edit to select a region After that, I use WoGuard to create the region and named it uh, SML Platform A Today, we are using the Sun Moon Lake Station again then, using lots and lots of repeaters and with a command block, I type in the following command, which is slash ac send at a, which is uh, selecting all the players, wo, which is the bow I'm in, and sml platform a, which is the region, and finally the audio id, which is ycm-01. And that's it, it's that simple. And uh, for the information board which you see right now, I use SignLink which is another plugin and first I just need to create a variable. So to create a variable, you do slash variable create smlas. Uh, the, the naming system I use is the, the train station code which is some like sml, then the platform uh, letter which is a and as for the train status and then uh, another variable smlaser for the service number and smlarem for the remarks which is the bottom scrolling text so to change the variable i use command blocks again so it goes like this one command block to edit the variable which is to select and then uh, you can edit the variable and another to set the variable as seen over here with these two command blocks and since there are three variables there are a total of six command blocks then place a sign down and put in the variable names remember to put the uh, percent sign for the variable names too to center the text to make the scrolling effect of the remarks you enter the command but first you need to edit the select the variable by doing slash variable edit then after that you type in slash variable set ticker and a number for the speed in which the scrolling takes place uh, the smaller the number the faster the text will scroll and so for this case I used the uh, 4 and then the scrolling direction which is normally the left so that's all for the station avis now it's time for the train AVIS which is the announcements on the train like announcing the next station and all. So same thing, I declare the region and then use command blocks to activate the system. And after hours setting up the system for the entire line, the AVIS system is complete and the entire lake loop line is complete too. So after this, I'll be making a video showing a full journey on the Lake Loop line with the AVIS system. But for now, here's a 
preview of Sun Moon Lake with the system installed. The train at platform A is now departing. Please stand clear. Stay tuned and be sure to watch our other videos too.